Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. So you know the deal, new year, new updated makeup routine. I've been doing this look a lot lately and I am obsessed with it. I have also incorporated some new products that I'm just very excited about. So I really wanted to share them. You know the deal. When I discover anything new or I'm loving something, I really want to share it. So we can just look good and glow together, you know? So that's that for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, everything will be linked down there for you if you wanted to pick anything up and with that being said let's jump right into the video so my skin is freshly washed and clean I literally have nothing on my face at the present moment so I'm gonna go in with some little base skincare products right now I'm gonna start off with my Tatcha lip mask I know everyone loves the Laneige lip mask and everything but since I've discovered this I have not looked back after that, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Magic Cream. This is extremely moisturizing and I love to use it under my makeup. I just put this all over the face. I'm also going to go in with my Super Goop Play Sunscreen. You guys know I don't play about sunscreen and I use it every single day. Makeup or no makeup, this goes on. And I love this sunscreen also because it makes your skin look so good. Like you literally could just wear this alone and your skin is going to glow. So the first product we're going to start this makeup routine off with is my ABH Brow Gel. And I like to apply this first to kind of get the brow hairs in the direction they need to lay in. And this is just gonna keep them in place. I do need to get my brows waxed or threaded or something because they are very unruly, so the brow gel just helps keep them in place. Next up, the ABH Powder Duo in the shade Ebony. And this is what I use to fill in my brows. I used to use the pomade, which is kind of like the gel kind of consistency, but that era is over. We have switched over to the powder now. It has two shades in here, but I mainly just use the dark. So I'm gonna show you guys how I fill in my brows. I'm just gonna start off by filling in the bottom, getting the shape I want, and just, and I'm obsessed with the powder duo. I think it looks so natural once it's applied. It doesn't look heavy and literally in like four goes, I'm done. I'm just gonna brush through it so it looks more natural, but that's pretty much it for the brows. Now I'm gonna go in with my NARS concealer here. This is the shade Truffle, and I'm just gonna use the wand directly, and I'm just going to clean up the brows. Then I'm gonna use this like random little brush I have. I don't know where it's from. I've had this brush since I started wearing makeup, which is probably about 10 years now. It's so old. <laughs> But I love it, it's my favorite brush. And I don't know, I love, just have like this weird attachment to it. So these are the brows after they've been cleaned up. So right after brows, I jump right into foundation and this is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. So this is one of the things that has changed in my routine. I used to use the Natural Radiant, but I discovered the Sheer Glow and I'm obsessed with just the finish of this and the shade match. I am using the same shade, New Caledonia, but for some reason the Sheer Glow New Caledonia matches me way better than the Natural Radiant New Caledonia, if that makes any sense. And the pump is a little bit broken, so I kind of just have to apply it like this. And I'm just gonna blend my makeup out with this Real Techniques brush. This is their buffing brush, so I guess I'm going to be buffing my foundation. And as you guys can see, my face is looking pretty flat right now. So the next step is concealer, where we're going to add some definition back into the face. So for concealer, I like to use the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. And this is very old school, but NC45. This concealer is significantly lighter than my complexion because I definitely do love that brighter under eye look. But this is not for everybody, and if you're looking for more of a natural makeup look, you may not like this method, but as for me, this is how I do my concealer. And again, significantly lighter than my skin tone. Usually I would say go for a shade that's like one shade lighter than, but this is um, a couple shades lighter and a little bit yellow 
because I really want it to like really bright. Also going to put a little under my cheekbones. Now we're going to blend. And I know we look crazy, but trust the process. So now it's time to add some definition back into the face. I'm gonna go in with my Makeup by Mario contour stick. This is in the shade dark. I'm gonna put this in the hollows of my cheeks and um, my forehead and also my nose. Now I don't do too much contouring on my nose because honestly, my nose can't hide, okay? I'm gonna go back in with that beauty blender, just using a side that's not um, used yet. I'm just going to blend this in. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna go in with my Laura Mercier powder in the shade Honey. I'm gonna put some in the cap here. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm running out of this already. I need to go get new makeup already, like crazy. So I like to take the excess powder and put it on the back of my hand here. And then I'm gonna use whatever is left on the sponge to set my under eyes. I don't like dipping directly from here to here because it looks like that. It never blends out correctly and always leaves a cast when I take photos. So I like to just use very minimal under eye powder. And um, I like to also just press it into the skin so it blends nicely. Right after that, I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder in the shade Deep. And this is what I use to set the rest of my face. I'm just gonna put this all over. This is a really great job at setting. It makes your skin look so smooth. And um, we love that. <laughs> now I'm gonna take my little orange brush here from Real Techniques. It's a little fluffy brush. And I like to use this to get rid of all the extra powder that might be sitting on top of the skin here. Just dust that away. Moving right into my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is in the shade Deep again. Everything that I use from Charlotte Tilbury is in the Deep, Deep shade, which I think is the darkest shade. I'm just gonna use this and just further contour the face but we're basically bronzing also. And this is just a stunning bronzer. Like I highly recommend this product. Like everybody who I know, when they ask me anything about makeup, get the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, powder, um, setting spray, shadow palettes. Like I literally love their products so much. They've definitely made a comeback and they can take all my money. They can take all my money. <laughs> Moving on to blush. I'm using cream blushes now, which is crazy, but I'm using this one by Fenty Beauty. It's in the shade called Rose Latte. This blush has completely stolen my heart. It's such a pretty shade. I like to apply it with my beauty blender. You could use your fingers, which is probably how I think you're supposed to use it, but I don't use my fingers. I use the back of the sponge and I just literally just pat it onto the cheeks. Guys, it is such a pretty color. And you can see the finish, right? It's not matte. It's like that really nice glowy shade, which is everything. So to highlight my face, I'm gonna use my Gold Deposit from MAC. This is a highlighter that I've used for many, many years. I stopped using it because of whatever reason. And I tried out various highlighters from different brands, but I ended up right back here because, because let's face it, this is like a classic works every time and I'm obsessed with it. It looks so good and probably one of the only highlighters that look good on my face. I'm going you guys in here for some eye action. So for my eyes, I like to use whatever I use on my cheeks, on my eyes. So we're gonna go back in with that Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. And I'm gonna put that in the, the crease of my eyes. So this is something I do because I'm strictly just, I guess the word is lazy. I just don't want to do too much. I don't want to use too many products. I try to just make whatever I use on my face work for my eyes. This exact same blush I used earlier, and I'm going to just put it on my little, my ring finger here, and I'm just gonna put this on my lids. I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury palette here. I'm gonna use a little of the gold. I'm just gonna put this on my eyelids. Next up, this is my eyeliner from e.l.f. I'm going to use this to um, do my eyeliner. I love this eyeliner specifically. I've been using it for many years. I'm just going to do my wing. The thinnest line ever. So now for mascara, I use the Benefit Bad Gal Mascara. And I literally do a little top 
application and then I go underneath. This does make your lashes a little bit clumpy, so I try to like spread them out. And don't forget to do your bottom lashes. Don't be a hooligan. Do your bottom lashes. And I also use my eyeliner to put my mole back. I'm sorry, my beauty mark. And once it dries, I'm just gonna dab on top of it just so it's not as intense. And then we're gonna move on to lips. And for lips, nothing has changed in that department. I am loyal to this combo, loyal. So I'm gonna line my lips using the chestnut lip liner. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my Buxom lip gloss and the shade Dolly. And this, my friend, is my favorite lip combo ever. And finally, I'm gonna spray my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter. Usually I use my Charlotte Til Tilbury makeup spray, but... Sorry, I don't know where it is, so I'm just using my second favorite, which is the All Nighter Spray by Urban Decay. And that's pretty much it for my makeup routine.